that everybody's talking about is the big Stockton show. Uriah and Nate kind of working together a little bit, and we got one of the studs out of Nick Diaz Academy right here, Nick Colring, legend on the West Coast, and 12-2 uh, and two in the middleweight division. And Nick, you, you took some time off, as, as we've already talked about a little bit, but you took some time off your back now, and you're ready to prove to the world that you're one of the best fighters in middleweight. Yeah, you know, I'm um, just ready to get that comeback fight done and uh, see what's next. You know, hopefully get that UFC contract and uh, go beat all those guys up too. <laughs> so we talked a little bit about Aaron Phillips, Buddy Wallace, chance that you may fight those guys. You said you didn't know much about Aaron Phillips, but obviously yeah. Buddy's been around a long time. Is there anybody else in the middleweight division that you might have your eye on? Not really, to be honest, just whoever uh, gets put in front of me, whoever's popping, whoever's got shit going on. Absolutely. So. And you're back here at the Nick Diaz Academy. You told me earlier you've been here since like 2007. What's it like to be home, man? Feels good, man. The first day I uh, came back, I came here, you know what I mean? So I've been training every day since, so it's just the next step, you know, get back in, get back up, keep going up. I feel on. <laughs> I, I feel like better than when I left. To be honest, uh, I feel sharp, in shape, on weight, I'm like 198 pounds right now, you know, uh, fit. So I just feel sharp. I feel like I missed everything. And so uh, I feel I feel ready to just keep grinding and uh, keep getting rattling off some more wins and get some more knockouts and submissions. You know, I don't want boring fights. How's your power? Because you always have had dynamite yeah, in your hands. Yeah, no, the power's there. That, that ain't gone nowhere. If yeah. anything, is more. Yeah? I feel I feel sharper, stronger, so I, you, you'll see. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I can't wait. Who was your toughest fight up to this point? Um, probably uh, Luke Barnott. Oh, that's the guy who beat you yeah. in the, getting into the Ultimate Fight yeah, House. Yeah, probably him. Just because he didn't... Um, he didn't want to die, and I hit him with the kitchen sink and then some, you yeah. know. And it's, just, it's really awkward. He's six foot seven, so. How tall are you? I'm six one. <laughs> so it's like it is this weird uh, distance difference. Yeah. So, uh, what does that do to your mindset when you're in a fight? You know, you hit like a tank. You hit a guy, and he doesn't. It doesn't hurt. It him. makes me want to hit him more. <laughs> I'm like, uh, all right, fool. Hey, you know, you ate those ones, but you're gonna, you're gonna fall eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna keep knocking you down. You're not gonna get up one of these times. Right. And it almost uh, gets me more angry. You know, you're you're in there throwing them and. Uh, all right, you're tough. Here, let's see how being tough was working for you. Let Absolutely. Me keep, keep feeding you these. <laughs> so it motivates you when you're not yeah. hurting a guy. You want to hurt him. Oh, it, it, I know they hurt him. He's just tough. Yeah. So, yeah. It, you know, after that, you can only be tough so long. Then uh, your body gives out. Right, right. Well, you train with Nick and Nate, obviously, Randy, um, Gilbert, all these guys, Jake. And how's your, how's your mat game? Were you rusty when you got down and started rolling again? Not really. I, I didn't feel like I missed too much. Really? Yeah, I I kept it all in my head. I've been, uh, you know, I never I never left uh, mentally. This is what I think is cool about this, Nick. You're 209 through and through. You're you're here. Your first fight back is going to be in Stockton yeah, on UFC Fight Pass main event. Are you pumped, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone will be there. You know, it's going to sell out. I feel I feel like it's going to sell out and. Uh, I just can't wait to yeah be on the home turf and uh, get that W.